Hello everyone. In this video, I show you how to replace the image stabilization unit flux cable on a Canon 18 to 200 mm IS lens. Recently, I had this lens with image stabilization problems. The IS didn't work, and it was caused by a faulty flux cable. So I had to disassemble the lens, replace the flux cable with a new one, and then assemble the lens. In this video, I show you how to replace the image stabilization unit flux cable with a new one. This video is part of video series about repairing a Canon 18-200mm IS lens. In the first video, I show you how to disassemble the lens. In this video is about replacing the flux cable with a new one. And the next video is about assembling the lens. If you're interested in the other two videos, then the links are here or down in the description below. Before I would start, let me talk about the tools that I will use to replace the flex cable with a new one. I will use uh, metal tweezers, I will use a soldering gun and a thin soldering iron, and of course I will use a new flex cable. If you are interested in buying them, then the links are in the description below. If you find that video useful, informative and adds value to you, then like this video, subscribe to my channel and consider donating. Links are in the description below. If you have anything to add to this video, then share it in the comment section below. So, let's get started. Remove the remains of the flex cable. Desolder the coils and then remove the remaining two flex cables. In this step we will remove the chips from the cable. First I mark the side of the chip, that way I will be sure that I solder them on the new cable correctly. This is how the chips are on the cable. Remove the chips from the cable using a soldering gun and a tweezers. The next step is to solder the chips on the new cable.
I'm using very thin soldering iron to solder the chip on the cable. The next step is to stick the flux cable on the main part of the image stabilization unit. Those three small balls should be in their place. You can put them back after the flux cable has been adhered to the IS unit. Those two pins should go through the holes on the cable. There are no glue on the two arms of the flex cable, so I use two-sided adhesive tape to stick them to the IS unit.
put some soldering iron on the cable and solder the connectors of the coil. Now we are done with replacing the flux cable with a new one. In the next video I show you how to assemble the lens. The link is in the upper right hand corner and in the description below. Thank you very much for watching my video. If you find that useful, informative and adds value to you, then like this video, subscribe to my channel and consider donating. Links are in the description below. If you have anything to add to this video, then share it in the comment section below. See you next time in another video.